We're going to talk about webcams today. We're going to talk about webcams and specifically a Logitech webcam versus a very inexpensive webcam that is from a company that I've been using other products from, Miros. Hey, this is Scott Weidenkiewicz, a storyteller with a camera talking about all the things photographers like you and I are thinking about. And in this video, we're going to be talking about this webcam from Miros. Miros is a company who makes electronics, and many of them are smart electronics, like a smart switch. In fact, I have an outdoor switch for when we put out holiday lights, and the outdoor switch is a home kit switch, which means I can control it from inside, set schedules from inside, turn them off, and things like that. Great product. Their products work very well with HomeKit. I've had zero issues with them. When I noticed that they had a webcam and it highly resembled a Logitech Brio, I was intrigued. Now, it's not a 4K webcam, it is a 1080p webcam, which is not a big deal because most of the time when you're live streaming or chatting with somebody in Zoom or Google Meet or wherever, you're in 1080p or 720p, most likely possibly even less depending on your internet connection. So I'm not so concerned about the 4K to 1080p differences between the Logitech webcam, the Logitech Brio, and this Miros webcam. I was more interested in the overall design and functionality and of course the quality of the video and the audio compared to Logitech Brio at 1080p. The first thing I noticed when I opened it up is the design is very similar to the Logitech Brio as far as you've got the nice little you know, bendable bracket to get squeezed against your, your screen. And then you also have the tripod screw at the bottom, which is really nice. So you can put on a tripod if you want. The really interesting thing is that this webcam actually spins and tilts on this sort of ball joint at the top of the mount. This is not a USB 3.0 cable, this is a USB 2, and it is also not as long as the Logitech Brio cable, the one that comes with it. The Logitech Brio cable is actually a USB-C cable. It is actually a USB 3 connection into the computer, but in the back of the Brio where it connects is actually a USB-C. So the, the, the cable connection, the data transfer rate is actually going to be different between this camera and the Logitech camera. But again, you shouldn't really notice that big of a difference. Where I really noticed a difference is when I brought it into the computer, I brought it into Ecamm Live so I can put it up side by side and you can see the differences between Logitech Brio and the Miros webcam. And the really interesting thing is that the video and audio quality is far less on the Miros webcam than it is on the Logitech Brio camera. Have a look. Okay, so this is recording with the Logitech Brio. This is to so you can hear the microphone quality with the Logitech Brio. And what is uh, most notable is that you have the uh, we have the furnace going in the background, so I can hear it typically when I record with my Nikon Z6 or my Nikon Z7 II, uh, I hear the, the audio and I have to fine-tune it, I hear that sort of hum. All right, let's switch to the uh, Mi, Mi Ross uh, webcam. Now this is the Mi Ross webcam and same thing, uh, this is recording straight from the webcam's audio, so again I have the furnace going in the background and you probably hear the furnace hum. Um, hopefully the audio sounds equally as good as Logitech Brio. Let's see in post. Okay, so there you go. There's the big differences between the Logitech Brio and the Miros webcam. I will say the Logitech Brio is well over $100 when you can find it. It's usually out of stock everywhere. So if you can find it, you're going to spend well over $100, probably even more than $150. But as far as webcams go, there's probably no webcam better quality than the Logitech Brio. But what I will tell you is this. This webcam is $19 when on sale. It's $29 when not on sale. When you, Usually there's a $10 coupon code on Amazon. So I'll link to this in the description below. If you need a webcam and you're not too concerned about the highest quality, but you want a wide view and you want something that you know, works for sports classes or works for anything that you need a wider view than what your built-in webcam can do, and you don't want to spend a lot of money, this should do just fine. But you can see from this video the kind of quality you're going to get out of it, both video and audio quality. It's not the best, but it's also not the worst. You might even argue that the video quality out of this is better than the built-in webcam quality of your computer. Maybe, depending on your computer. <laughs> I will link to this webcam in the description down below. Check it out if you need it. Again, it's $30 or so 
uh, normal price, but you can get it for about $19 when it's on sale. Be sure to click the subscribe button because I publish new videos every Monday and Thursday whenever possible. You don't want to miss it.